Hi, in this video, I wanted to just do a very quick little introduction to getting your content into Edpuzzle. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you are in this content tab, and then you can go into my content to see any videos you have already pulled in to Edpuzzle. If you've not yet pulled the video in, you want to go down here to either Edpuzzle or YouTube. If you go into Edpuzzle, that's going to be searching for Edpuzzle videos that other users have done. So say that I want a calculus video. I can see videos that other people have assigned and you can see that it already has six questions, for instance, and I would be able to start with that as my base. If I go ahead and I click on that video, I can then click the edit button so that I can then assign it to my class and make some minor adjustments as I want. So you can see that the quiz questions have already been created by this other teacher. So that would be the Edpuzzle option. Let me go back to content. I tend to like to use YouTube. I will either find a video in YouTube using the search bar, or I like to make my own videos, upload them to YouTube, and then I just paste in the URL, and that is my video right there. And then I can go about adding in the questions as I please. Now. I have another separate video that you can watch next about how to use this editor, but I'm going to stick in this video with just talking about getting your content into Edpuzzle. So we talked about the Edpuzzle content, we talked about the YouTube content, it's gonna be the same for Khan Academy, National Geographic, and so forth. You can just search right within Edpuzzle. The final thing is, if you go to my content, in addition to being able to find actual videos that you've already pulled in, you can also go to add content up here and upload your own video. So if you've made a video and you don't wanna upload it to YouTube before pulling it into Edpuzzle, all you would do is make sure you're in content and then you go down to my content, add content, upload a video, and then you can choose the file, bring it in, and then embed any learning checks in Edpuzzle. So I'm gonna keep this video very brief, and if you want to learn more about how to actually use the Edpuzzle editor and assign it to your class, you can check out the next video I have. Okay, bye.